How do you know when it's time to stop using your CGM? How do you know when you've done enough? So my name is Karen Kennedy and I'm a functional nutritionist specializing in helping people use continuous glucose monitors to improve their blood sugar and optimize their metabolic health. So it is important to know when to start using a CGM and when to start making some diet and lifestyle changes, but it's also important to know when enough is enough. Stop draining. So this is important because once you start looking at this data and building awareness, making those connections and saying, oh, wow, I really need to get my blood sugar down. It's very easy to get caught in a trap where it's never good enough. You, any kind of spike is too much or should I still be doing something? And then glucose becomes this huge focus in your life. And that is never good enough. Just like you never want to always be you know, counting calories, counting fat grams, weighing yourself too much, continuously focusing on your CGM data is no way to live and it can get dysfunctional. And it's not necessary because the whole point of doing this in my world is, you know, what, what's the minimum I need to do to get my health improved so I can get back to living my life? Because good health is so that we can live a good life. Not, we don't have to live for having the best glucose levels, right? So how do you know this? And this can be really tricky. So here's the thing. You've gone through this process with me. You've done the experimenting. You're like, how does my day-to-day -day usual diet affect things? And then you form a hypothesis and then you think, wow, it looks like I need to stop eating a little earlier. And then you try that one thing and see, does this improve my glucose levels? And then you try another thing. And at a certain point, maybe your overnight glucose levels are all sort of, you know, below 95 all night long. And you you still go up to maybe 140 for a few meals. Um, is that good enough? Do you need to do more? Maybe you've made some changes and wow, you've had some improvements, but still your overnight numbers are still over a hundred and uh, it's not coming down at night. Do you need to make more changes? Do you need to keep using a CGM? Great question. And this is what I get called on for the most for CGM coaching calls. People are like, okay, I've been doing this. Is this enough? And the answer isn't so easy, but here's what I will tell you. If you have been using a CGM for a month or three and you've made some changes, you're eating earlier, you're, you have much better blood sugar control, but it's not where you want it to be. Here's the thing I want you to know. Sometimes you don't have to keep adding on more strategies and doing more. You just need to keep going and stay the course with what you've already started because good blood sugar control begets good blood sugar control. These will start to compound and improve. You'll reduce inflammation. You're building maybe lean body mass. You're sleeping better. That will improve glucose control. That will further improve your sleep, lower your inflammation. That will further improve your glucose control. So what I recommend to a lot of people, if you've been using a CGM for a month or three, things have really improved, but they're not exactly where you want them to be take a break. Take at least two weeks off. Maybe take a month or two off and just, you know what to do. Maybe get a little accountability, make yourself a little star chart. Don't knock the star chart and stay the course. And then put a note on the calendar to put another CGM on in two or three months and see where you're at. That's what I advise people because you don't want to be paying attention to those numbers all the time. It can really do your head in. And I think you'll see that things will keep improving and you might be pleasantly surprised. Okay. So don't be afraid to stay the course. Don't be afraid to take that CGM off to take a break and just let those, let the work you've done compound improve over time. All right. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. And if you like this content, please hit subscribe.